it looks nice. It's, uh, you know, especially before anything's cleaned up and it's all, you know, fresh. It's not fresh for long. Rich Barnett shoveling his car out in North White Plains before the snow turns to ice. I can feel what the, um, the slipperiness just on the walk. Obviously, the snow is melting from where I just shoveled, but um, if it isn't totally gone, it's going to freeze up later on, so it's still a hazard. Before the refreeze, it's mainly blacktop and melting snow. But early this morning, heavy snow and covered roadways meant a treacherous commute for people venturing out. In Yonkers, plows tried to keep up. The snow is still going strong at daybreak. The county executive noting there were minor accidents throughout Westchester this morning. The county short staffed due to COVID, but doing its best to keep the road safe. What we do obviously is, is use the rest of the uh, personnel on overtime, which you know stresses them and also stresses our budget. But uh, we're able to put enough crews out there to do the cleanup that we have to do as a county government. A majority of schools were closed today or switched to online learning. <laughs> and by midday, the sun was out and there was plenty of snow at White Plains High School for sledding. What do you like about sledding? That you get to go fast down the hills and it's fun. It's Friday. Kids deserve a nice, fun snow day. And they got that snow day. Con Ed, luckily reporting, not many power outages up here in Westchester County. On average, about six inches fell in various communities throughout the county, some a little less, some a little more. Again, be careful with that freezing tonight as the temperature dips. Beware of black ice.